You want to see something magical? This is a unicorn, and this is our kingdom. You see these guys? These guys are all crazy, and each and every single one of them want to kill me. But these silly little nincompoops don't realize that the House of the Unicorns are here to spread love and joy throughout the lands. Don't you just love love? So much joy. Now she understood the assignment. Plus, why would you want to be part of the other four kingdoms run by Forge Labs, Sneeb, Lagundo, and Ryan? Because for the next seven in real life days, we're all going to simulate medieval times and hardcore Minecraft in the theme of Game of Thrones. And at the end of the seven days, we're supposed to all battle for the Iron Throne. They can do that, but not the House of the Unicorn. We're gonna spread love and joy and peace. Of course, unless we're threatened. But who would do that? Who doesn't like to spread love and joy? And we still have room, because each kingdom has around 10 players each. And my team consists of seven. Well, we had nine if you count two of them, but they died within like three minutes. So we still have room. Why kill when you can hug? Why battle when you can dance? So why not spread the love and the joy? Love, love. joy, joy. Is that good, Shadow? Can I have my family back? No, silly. Your family doesn't love you. We do. Because here at the House of the Unicorns, uh, we like to spread that- Shadow, I, I hate to cut you off, but we're kind of under attack. Ah, great. Here we go again. Well, I don't know how you want to intro it, since this is kind of your thing, Shadow, so I'll follow suit. Intro? I don't got no intro. <laughs> I just go. I don't know how this works. <laughs> <laughs> I've never got a scenario. Yeah, we Excuse just we just me. go in. I do I do the intro later. Over voice that thing. Oh, go. All right. He said go. go. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Punch in a tree. Don't punch the kangaroo. Ooh, we got dark oak. Nice. Okay. Uh, nope, 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 nope. That's not how you do it. There we go. Okay. Okay, I got this. I got this. Don't worry. Don't worry. Listen, this uh tree was floating when I found it. Okay. The group was collecting the early game materials, and things were going pretty well so far. But I had to keep in mind that the members of my army only have one life each. And even though this biome felt warm and fuzzy, I knew things can get very dangerous around here very quickly. So with that, I made it my mission to get this small shelter put together before the sun set. No, elephant, get away. You're too big. Oh my gosh, it looks like he's angry. Don't get mad at me. Get out of here, Crow. I can't put the roof on if you're in the way. Alright, I got us a food source. We have chickens. Nice. The sun was starting to set as I was finishing the shelter. Now, it wasn't pretty, but it worked. I was also able to make some tools and a sword. I'm not used to people getting materials for me, so hopefully they didn't need these. If they did, I'm sorry. Maybe? Yeah, yeah I'm sorry. You don't trust that elephant. I know, he's a little scary. He keeps running around. Like, <laughs> gonna take us out. Like he's mad. <laughs> Elephants, you're really close. Yeah, they're scary. One came charging at me. Oh, they do that? Oh. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to kill me or trying to get in, but. That is intimidating. Fun, okay, good to know. Can we eat raccoons? Maybe. All right, I gotta get some light around the area. I don't need mobs spawning right on top of the group. So let's put some of those down. Okay. It was very important to light up the area as much as I could, because we didn't just have the regular Minecraft mobs. We also had to deal with White Walkers. I mean, it's the Game of Thrones. What were you expecting? And yes, they were equipped with medieval weapons and tools. And considering the state myself and my team were in, we could easily be taken out in one hit. These weapons were no joke. Ooh, they got armor out here. They're like, they're White Walkers, basically. Ooh, that's so oh, God. Yeah. Yeah, it's getting pretty, uh... Spicy. Yeah, spicy. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got three of these bad boys. Oh, we got a lot more. Oh, yeah, we're getting raided here. Um... <laughs> I have a stone axe. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Red. <laughs> yeah, Red, where are you? <laughs> oh, no, wait. Oh, oh. Hold on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. Um... So I left my food out there cooking. <laughs> oh, these are slabs. I'm on four hungers. <laughs> Will they burn in the morning, or yeah. are they not gonna? Yeah. Uh, okay. Depends on if they. That's what I'm asking. Uh, maybe. I exactly. With the helmet, I'm not sure. You having fun in your corner? I am, but I got a I got a nice sword that's laying right in front of me. Uh oh, get it? Don't die. I hear chickens. Oh, yeah, I got yes. us chickens. I got a, a rusted mm. sword. Nice. Ooh. Oh wow, that's oh nice and long. Sword. 
Since I'm stuck in this house with these three, I might as well take the opportunity to let you know that these were the three subs that were chosen to participate in this event. Little Red, Iondis, and Itch Shin are all great creators, so make sure you check out their channels. All links are in the description below. And if you want a chance to participate in future events, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And hit that notification bell too. Plus, it would be greatly appreciated. All right, moving on. With the White Walkers dropping medieval weapons, I thought it would be a good idea to get on top of a roof and pick them off in the hopes that they would drop more weapons or, or even armor. Because with a team this size, it would definitely help to give us a good starting boost. See, the thing oh, is, is that? this roof going to have This corner's working out it? great for me. Uh, I can't necessarily reach you, my boy. Oh, the crow is pecking the crops. Oh yeah, they're, they'll <gasps> steal the crops. We're gonna have to build an indoor farm because of the ravens, so. Savage, yeah. we have to hide these things? This is lame. This guy looks like a guy, hello. I know, he's decked out. Mm-hmm. All right, come on, you guys. Oh my God, that bird. Oh my gosh, that's a big sword. Must be heavy. Look out. Oh, look out, there's a spider behind you. Yeah. Oh, okay, good to know your reach. <laughs> gosh, they're, they're scary. They Big look very swords. scary. I know they're extra long. Their shields are like croissants. A little bit. Now I'm gonna get hungry. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. With the first night over and done with, it was time to start getting our defenses together. You know, crafting weapons and armor, making our white walker traps, all that jazz. But mobs were not our biggest threat. If you remember, other kingdoms can attack and stake claim to your lands, your army, and your crown. Look at all these chickens. Do you want a bucket for water? I have a bucket. I was gonna go look for some water somewhere. Cool, cool, cool. Oh my gosh. They love Wait, we can soup. make soup. Oh yeah, we got tons of mushrooms. Mushroom soup. Oh yeah, actually. Yeah. Look at that. Hey. We're gonna have soup for days. Oh, I fell in the yeah. chicken hole. <laughs> <laughs> Here, here's some stairs. Uh, I was like, no. If I die, it's been great. <laughs> <laughs> That's the spirit. Did that bird take my last seed? I have 15 of them. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna go grab some sheeps. All right, seems like everyone is out getting their specific supplies. I might as well go out and get some sand for glass because the ravens keep stealing our crops and uh, that's not good. Because I'll just basically build a glass roof to allow the light in at least, instead of using torches. Super convenient when we're right next to the ocean too, so, so that's good. Really good. Oh, we got tons of horses too. And all types of other animals, holy. But I'm not really gonna mess around with them because uh, I have no idea which ones are hostile. And uh, I don't wanna get killed. I might as well grab some of the sugar cane and replant it. Cause I'm positive we're gonna need it later. It's not just me on the team now. I got quite a few people, so yeah. We're gonna need the paper for books, for enchanting. All right, looks good. Ooh, sheep. Nice. Yeah, I'm uh, making a fence. This is their temporary home. <laughs> I got a bunch of sand so we can make glass. Ooh, yes. Perfect. You know, until we get a proper farm going, at least. Plus, the birds won't bother us, so. Yep, that's smart. Ooh, we're upgrading, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna get, dirt gone. gonna get that farm going. Is all this gonna be cleared out one layer? Yeah. I don't know any of the uh, fancy recipe mods or anything, so... I know wheat, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> so you bet, my main focus was to get that interior farm up. It wasn't much, but it worked. This is gonna be the wheat field, right? Yep. Okay, I'm uh, gonna go make us an infinite water source. I just need one more. All right, sounds good. Be careful though. Come on over guys, come on in. There you go. Oh my gosh, there's one that looks like me. <laughs> there's a zombie that looks like me. Yeah, you come on. Come on if you want. I got a nice place for you. It's over here. This way. Come on. Oh, creeper! That's one guy I don't want to mess with. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little nervous. Everyone on my team was out gathering materials all night. I mean, they should be alright, but I was concerned for Little Red, as she went out to collect a bucket of water ages ago, and now it's nighttime. Hopefully, she dug herself into a hole or something. I don't want to be losing anyone so soon. Oh, hi. Hello. We're a little worried about Red. I don't know where she's at. Uh, we could go on a search for her if you like. Uh, I think I think she'll be fine. She hasn't okay. died. She hasn't died yet. Oh, sweet 
home to school. That you read? Hey. <laughs> I was like, oh no, she's stuck out there. <laughs> no, I went uh, exploring the seas and oh, uh, nice. got us some lapis as well. Oh, nice. I got us a bunch of sand for glass, and I was going to go back down, but there's just a lot of whales there now, and uh, yeah, I don't want to, you know, tick them off. Oh, nice. Um, looks like it's time to start building a wall. And when I mean a wall, I mean a fence, okay? For now, anyway. Is that Shin? Yes, it's me. Okay, I was like, Hello. is that Shin or someone we should be worried about? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Are the raccoons <laughs> hostile? Um, maybe. I'm just assuming all the animals are hostile. <laughs> Even the yeah, every time these kangaroos come towards me, I get a little concerned. Don't mind me, just making a barrier. I see how it is. Okay, oh. I guess, um... Blocks me up. You're trying to get in, yeah. Oops. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Alright, are we safe? We got the perimeter? Look at this. I think so, yeah. No, elephant, you can't come in here. Go away. Wait, one? Yeah. It's got Be some... careful that elephant. Yeah. Yeah, we're not really sure about them. <laughs> I know they're dangerous. I've been killed by them. Oh, no. Oh, they got a carrot. Yes. <gasps> Dude, yes. Let's go. Carrot where? Yeah, we got a carrot. We're living now. Right. Yay. <laughs> you can go right there. Living large. Yeah. Take this. I don't think they'll mind, eh? Uh, we got a skeleton hanging up. He's hiding Weapon. underneath the floating trees. Yeah, who left those floating trees anyway? Mm. Guys, look what I found! Look at this thing! Where you at? Oh. Look at that. Bop, bop. Oh, wow! Oh my gosh, Shadow, these floating trees are giant. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I couldn't get up to them. <laughs> you know, there's these uh, thing called dirt blocks. Um, oh, yeah. They're really great for pillaring up. Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if you heard of that. Oh, good idea. I should try that sometime. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you should. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> oh, gotta be quicker than that. Yeah. Right. This elephant is freaking me out. What do you want? Huh? I know, they are scary. <laughs> they just like lunge too. No, don't! You scream at me, get out of here! No! Get! Go! I'm learning the new crafting stuff and all the recipes here. I keep finding diamonds. I have enough to make this. Ooh, shiny. I like. With everything above ground going well, it was time to help Shin down in the mines. Because I needed to get my army armored up. I need to keep them alive. <laughs> Hey, there we go, there we go. Any more? No, I think this is just it. One, oh, we got two. Ah, just two. Now, how do I get out of this place? I'm lost, help me, somebody. Uh, here, Matthias, take this and take this. Just to, you know, increase your durability a little bit. <laughs> nice, look at that. Thank you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. We really, like I said, we really gotta step up our game. Whatever Shin was talking about, I knew we needed to up our game. Well, see, Shin went to the Nether, and he came across the Nether Kingdom's team member. They were already in full diamond enchanted gear, and have already blocked up blaze spawners, as well as already looted a bastion, which wasn't an issue per se. But it did give me the incentive to go to the Nether myself, to start looking for ancient debris, and maybe also start gathering some Nether material. Now, the Nether is a neutral ground, so no PvP is allowed there, and you cannot claim an area or structure Everything there is fair game. I also have a little tunnel right here that kind of I started to go down towards netherite, but um, yeah, I wanted to come up and let everybody know. Okay, I'm just gonna go down here and do some digging though. Get some ancient debris, hopefully. And that's what I did. I mined for ancient debris, and I wasn't gonna leave until I had at least two bars. It was a long and boring job, but someone had to do it. All right, um, I want to see what's out here. How bad is this nether? Are we in a bad spot? Okay, there's a salt biome which is terrific i love it actually really hate it now shin said there was a bastion or a fortress around here oh my gosh the piglins got medieval weapons that's that's really cool that's awesome oh i don't like i don't like the nether i don't want to die here 
It's not fun. Oh, wow. I'm like, there's like three biomes and one right here. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a, that's a fortress. All right. Okay. We got a fortress next to us. That's cool. That's good. That's good. That's good. Shin also said that there were custom mobs here. Whatever that means, I don't know. I'm not sure. I haven't seen any yet. Looks like it's clear. Don't mind the piglins. The zombie ones. Oh, hey, Blaze. What's up? Don't mind me. Okay. So there's a Blaze spawner around here then. Did he say what Bastion was looted or the, or the fortress? Oh! Whoa! No, 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 no. What was that? What was that? No way I'm fighting that thing. What is it? I don't like that. I don't know what it is. Actually, you know what? Let's get into this play spawner and see if we can uh, secure it. Because it'd be nice to have an experience farm, you know? <laughs> nope. I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bad idea. I gotta, I gotta do this properly here. How to do it properly? I have no idea. We're just gonna go with it. Okay. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna leave this be for now. I'm gonna go back. Uh, we got a possible experience farm. See you later, Blazes. We'll be back. Okay, I got some blaze rods. Nice. Well, you could have been a little bit more excited. Jeez, I'm just risking my life out here. So you got some netherite. That's good. Yeah, I found a few pieces here. Take some diamond, would you? Oh, ooh, I will gladly upgrade. I gotta get everyone diamond up. Thank you. <gasps> Thank oh you. Oh my goodness. Appreciate it. Thank you. I, I so get chips better. from my husband and diamonds from y'all. That's a pretty good moment. Nice. <laughs> yeah, there's a zombie in a boat. Yeah, uh, That's the villager. Zombie villager oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, we gotta get him somewhere safe. Probably a knight. <laughs> we have a bow in here. Ooh, a bow. A bow, you say? Huh. This was a very good reminder that projectiles will be a very important element in this scenario, considering we couldn't rely on traders at the moment. And I need a way to collect chicken eggs and feathers efficiently and effectively. Okay, chickens. Let's start collecting your feathers for some arrows. Okay, just uh, move out of the way, please. Oh my gosh. Chickens, get out of the way. I'm gonna start punching you. Move. Okay, chickens, you don't get out of the way, you're all gonna die, okay? Get. <laughs> we like our chicken nuggies. So, uh, oh, a baby already got out. Um, have we, we haven't found a fortress yet, right? Yeah, there's a fortress uh, I found, but it's already been, it's already been looted. Okay, oh. so there's no nether wart? Uh, there might be. I mean, the other team could have lied to us. Because if we just get one nether, oops, sorry. If we get one uh, nether we wart, can we can it grow it if we get soul yeah. sand. Because then we can uh, cure the zombie villager and choose yeah. what we want him to give us. Okay, I can go look. Okay. I'll go take a Sweet. little look-see. Why not? All right. Little Red needs some nether warts. So let's go get that for her. So let's check the fortress. If it was looted, hopefully they left some. Even just one would be nice. Whoa! Watch it, would you? Fire hazard! Oh, there's another blaze spawner down here, too. So they must have been around. Oh, there's a lot of armor in here. That's kind of weird. Oh, nice. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Here we go. We're going to take it all. I'll take the soul sand, too. I'm going to need it anyway. Uh... Do I, do I risk it for the biscuit? Uh, how do I want to do this? Oh, yeah, there's some here too. Good, good. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my gosh. Okay, just want to be careful. Oh, let's go. Oh, my gosh, there's lava everywhere. Oh, and there's a blaze. Okay. No, we're done. <laughs> we're done. I'm out. I'm out of here. Oh, nice. Diamond armor. That's good. That is really good. That's going on my horse. So, where do you want it? Want the nether wart? Yeah. Did you get soul sand by chance? Yep. Yeah. Let's move it down by the zombie villager, which I stuck over here. I got um quite a bit. Oh sweet. Yeah, I thought it was. Right. I thought that place was looted. It wasn't. You guys got a chest I can throw with the extra I have. Uh, I found a whole stack of it. <laughs> actually? Oh yeah. my word. All right, three potions of weakness coming right up. Woo! Yes. Need a golden apple? I have sweet. a gold. I have yep. a golden apple. Get it. All right. Oh, okay. All right. Let's, let's so we can make that room. villager right now. Yeah, because if we do a Fletcher, we can get emeralds easy, and then we can get arrows easy. Yeah, and then if you're really lucky, you get the tipped arrows, too. Oh! <laughs> that was scary. Probably not the smartest idea. Oh! <laughs> that was half my health. Well, oh, really? Ow. Oh, wow. Yeah! <laughs> you to get your diamond up. I know. Yeah, my rusty leggings aren't doing me too good. Since it was nighttime, I figured I'd take the opportunity to go out and look for more zombie villagers. Unfortunately, I didn't find any, but I did come across the pink sheep. So I ran back to the base to get a lead. Oh, don't get, get away, God! 
Elephant! We all like that. Jeez. Don't kill me one of these times. Now you're probably asking, what is so important about this pink sheep? Well, there is a king in another kingdom that is obsessed with pink sheep, so I could potentially use this sheep as a trade for peace, an alliance, or even materials. But for now, I will leave it right here until I figure out what to do with it. After that, I spent a considerable amount of time mining for diamonds, crafting diamond armor, and making sure everyone on my team was in full diamond gear. Like I said, it was very important to keep my army alive as we still have a kingdom to build and protect once I got everyone suited up it was time for me to go back to the nether and grind out more ancient debris all the food all the time it's a lot of food yes I tend to I tend to cook a lot first before I do any building oh yeah no that's smart I'm gonna do some piglin bartering on the back you got all the gold yeah you need yeah. some no okay. I'm just making sure you got it all hey I got gold on here look at this take take the gold Let's do some trading, okay? Let's barter. Yeah, you want to trade? Okay. Give me something good. I have no idea what they give me. Or what they trade. Come here. Where you going? I thought we were trading. I was just done with it, eh? Ancient hog shoes? Is that what he gave me? I don't want ancient hog shoes. I don't even know what they are. Okay, guys. Your trades are starting to get a little boring here, okay? Let's, let's, uh, let's switch it up a little bit. Ow! Why are you attacking me? You want to trade gold or not? Oh, now they're fighting each other. Okay, ow! What is going on? Stop shooting me! What did I do to make you angry? Oh wait, it's probably the chest. Oops, my bad. Crying obsidian. I think Matthias needed that. Okay, you gave me something decent, I guess. I traded with this piglin, which felt like forever, and I really didn't get anything useful. I mean, does he even trade anything useful? I don't know. What am I doing wrong? Did I miss the memo? Whatever. Doesn't matter anyway, as I was rudely interrupted. Okay, come on, something good. Oh, is that a ghast? Is that a ghast? Don't shoot at me! Oh my gosh, did you just... Did you just... <sighs> Thanks! Just ruined my whole barter situation. Okay, Matthias, I got uh, a gas tier. And did you say you need to cry obsidian? I got a bunch of those too. I don't know if they're. Oh, crazy. sweet. We can. Uh, we actually. Do, we also need glowstone because as soon as we do, we can arm these as bombs. Oh, really? Okay, that's good. And I've, oh, I got yeah. a bunch of these like hog shoes. I have no idea what they are. What? Hog, hog shoes? shoes. <laughs> Ancient wait, put them on. Let's see what they look Ancient. like. Show them off. Do you wear them? Yeah. I don't know if you wear them. See your tootsies. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's fair. So things were coming together. We got an enchanting table set up and my main man, Matthias, the master of brewing, was supplying the team with all kinds of potions. This was good. Oh, this was good. Now, having an enchanting table was nice. The only problem was that at this point, I didn't have the levels to enchant with. So I had to try to make a safe mob experience farm that wouldn't bog up the server. So I thought farming zombie piglins would be a good idea because you know, you only have to hit one for all of them to aggro on you. Now it did work well, but it didn't work long as spawn rates seem to be wonky on a server full of players. So my next idea was to try farming the blazes I seen earlier, but I needed to make it safe and easier for me to get around the nether. Not just for me, but for my team as well, because I know they're gonna need experience too. And there's no reason that it needs to be a risk for them to do that. But it's okay, I'm crouching, I'm, I'm doing good. So, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, no, thank you. Okay, where'd it go? Okay, as I was saying, I want to get this... Oh my gosh, Gast! <laughs> Leave me alone! I'm trying to commentate here! Okay, so what I was saying is I'm trying to get this, like, tunnel straight from the portal to the Blaze uh, spawner. That way we can... What the... was that? What was... Is that a Strider? Throwing baby Striders at me? Why can't I just commentate for two seconds? Stop throwing your babies at me! <laughs> what is going on? What is going on with this nether? Okay, okay. All right, um, yeah. Just trying to, just trying to build a tunnel here. Why are you guys gonna be so hostile? Ooh, okay. Um, you're not supposed to be in here. Did I not light it up enough? What's he doing? Oh, he's trying to throw his babies at me. Stop throwing your babies at me! Here, take an arrow. Take that. Get, get out. Okay. Uh, oh my gosh. What are these things? All right. Well, uh, that was a thing. 
All right, let's light this up and then uh, let's finish this tunnel or try to at least. Finally, after all that, I was able to complete the tunnel that made a safe path all the way to the blaze spawner. So now my team and myself could do some safe experience farming and at the same time obtaining unlimited blaze rods. Okay, so you're probably asking, why am I being so careful and building a tunnel so far? Well, this is the perfect time to bring this up. The kings are on a life drain, just like previous events we had before. So every death, we end up losing one heart, a maximum health. But here's the thing, very early on in the event, I ended up dying to a wither skeleton that was decked out in medieval gear and one shot me. And I was wearing three pieces of netherite armor. Sure, it sucked to be one shot with all that armor on, but after discussing with the other kings, they all agreed that it really wasn't a fair death because neither one of us thought that getting one shot from a wither wearing medieval armor was a thing. We decided that the death didn't count. So I didn't lose a heart. Because if you think about it, it's kind of like the wither skeleton got a god roll for a weapon, which is not something you usually expect. It's kind of like a freak accident. But from this point forward, it was a warning for everybody to be careful in the nether because it could happen again. I did die a second time, but we'll get to that a little later. We got the tunnel done, which is good. And I'm just trying to get the blaze spawner in a way that I can farm them without getting hurt. Was I successful? Sort of. <laughs> I don't think I really was, but Okay, so they can come down here on either side, all right? And I just whack them like this. And occasionally I get put on fire, but it's okay. I'm all right. It's, I'm good with it. it it's okay. That's my, uh, that's my blaze spawner firm. So it's great. Just, just trying to get something, you know, something going. I only got so much time. Leave me alone. Okay, with everything underway, food was plenty, experience farming was possible, and it was time to get a temporary outer wall up. So this wall was not meant for the mobs necessarily. It was also to keep other kingdoms out, or at least slow them down. Because you see, opposing kingdoms while on your lands are not allowed to break or place blocks to keep the spirit of the simulation of actual sieging. So this would mean placing TNT would be allowed, and I understand that one single wall of cobblestone will not keep them out but i'm also using it as an outline of where the actual wall will be built plus in order to keep building safely within the kingdom the wall will protect my army from hostile mobs and to keep them from spawning within these walls we gotta place torches all over the place so that's what i did what was that toast you okay oh <laughs> it must have disconnected Where are you dead toast so Toast is my master of disconnection. He's uh, some spotty Wi-Fi, so he kind of, you know, just randomly drops and sits in place. You know what? Let's uh, let's do him a favor. Let's uh, cover him. Up. Oh, never mind. Actually, you know what? We're gonna cover him up anyway, just in case he comes back. Oh, hey Toast, what's up? Just uh, just covering you, buddy. Don't worry. Keep those nasty creepers away from you. Are you there? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> no problem. A creeper just blew up next to you while you're in the world. I'm assuming you were disconnecting, but am I gonna? Oh no, I'm gonna disappear, aren't I? Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> How you doing now, Toast? Good. Okay, I gotta find a horse. I gotta find a friend. A horse, not you, chicken. Get out of the way. Somewhere there was tons of horses here before. Where'd all the horses go? I don't think we killed them all. Oh, you come here, buddy. I see you. What are you doing up there? Come on, come here. You're gonna get hurt up here. Whoa. Yeah, just, no, 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 no. Don't run, don't run. It's all right, it's all right. I, I know you're scared, it's okay. Come here, come here. We're buddies, what are you doing? Ah, come here, stop running away. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. We just gotta take it slow though. I don't want, I don't want you hurting your ankles, you know? Excuse me, kangaroo. Uh, come through. You'll be safe out here. Look at a torch and everything. Couple night lights. All right. Good. Is that little red um, up there? We have... Yeah, she's building the uh, the base of the tower oh, right now. Nice. For the nice. castle. Little Red was starting to get together a proper base so we can move out of our temporary one and into this one. The tower would also be a secondary defense position if an opposing army was to breach the walls. Speaking of which, I really need to buff up the walls here soon. I really do. It's gonna light you up a little bit here. 
Hey, thank you. No problem. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, so shape-wise, this is what I was thinking for like a main castle bit. That's I was just I about was. to ask, did you need a did you need a chest up here with uh, items? I will gladly take more stone okay. and uh, stone brick. Stone those brick, cobblestone, chests. and regular stone. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yep, those right, three cool. would be great. Um, right, cool. I don't know how much iron we have. Not a but lot. <laughs> I'm trying to just work with stone. Um, stone tools? Yeah. I mean, I have, like, oh, here. pickaxes. Nice. We, got, we got diamonds. Yeah. yeah. Um, there's a stone, an iron pickaxe right there, too. What? I'm sitting here in half netherite, and everyone is pretty much rocking diamonds. And Little Red is over here working with stone tools. <laughs> what? Anyways, okay. All right. Who do you guys think you are? Huh? Huh? Ow. Okay, never mind. Oh, you shot your buddy in the head. That's too bad. Okay, level 30. Let's uh, go enchant something. Let's just hope I get uh, something good because levels take a very long time to get. Okay, let's see. Wait, wait. Let's see. Oh my gosh, look at the arrows in me. Jeez. Okay, give me fortune, please. Uh, I'll take efficiency. Efficiency's good too. Oh, Silk Touch. Oh, look at that. Huh? What's going on? Oh, never mind. Who's gone? Nothing. You guys Nothing. got it? <laughs> hey, Shadow. I found more diamonds. Yeah, I got a bunch of diamonds and um, iron. It's all, I got Silk, silk Touch on my uh, uh, pickaxe, so. Excuse me? Nice. We don't have to smelt as much. Uh, yeah, after I just came up here with 10 stacks of cobblestone. <laughs> uh. Fine. You were still <laughs> worth it. Yeah, I promise. Ah! Oh, God. Fell in your trench. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, it's okay. I'm trying. I, it's okay. I was digging it. I dug it like that so I could see where I was going first. No, no, I'll that's cover right. it up that's so fine. we don't fall in it. No biggie. Ow! Phantoms mess off. They just want hugs and cuddles that lead to death. Something like that, yeah. Okay, let's check this mailbox. Did I get anything yet? Maracas? Who sent me maracas? Okay. Right on. Here, I'll send something to Sean. I gotta make sure it works. I'll send him some chicken or a chicken. I think I think he'll like that. I'll give Sneeve one too. There we go. Oh my gosh, phantoms again. Did I not sleep lately? I better go sleep. Hey, why is this closed? The only beds are in here. I need to get in. Get out of the way. I'm not in the mood. I'm gonna hit you. Oh my gosh, get out of the way. See? There. No, no. Get. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're pushing your luck, buddy. Get out of the way. See, I just need a bed. Just need to sleep. Get. Stop getting in my way. Oh, I'm done with these guys. We gotta move the bed. Are you guys breeding down here? Do we have more babies? I punched a couple. Yeah, you punched babies? No, no, uh, the, <laughs> the, 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 whatchamacallit, those guys. They wouldn't, they, wouldn't oh. get my, they wouldn't get out of my way. So guys, I was like, you're just <laughs> admitting to punching babies so casually. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Don't mind this chest out here. This is my garbage. Is that what that was? Yeah, it's yeah. like, I don't know where to yeah. put it. I that literally, is, uh, I walked yeah. out here after organizing and I looked in this and I was like, oh dear God, no. <laughs> and he immediately cleaned it up. <laughs> it's like, my heart, my heart. Uh, uh, so let's see, let's see. Hey, Matthias, you want to see my luck? Yeah, man. Found the these. Hell? I had silk touch, but I didn't want to break them until I had my fortune. This is where we get the money. Yeah. What was that? 30, 36 diamonds. Oh, my nice. goodness. And there's 20 in the chest, so. <laughs> I guess we can start mining with diamonds in this case. Okay, so PvP was now enabled on the server. And if your kingdom was breached while you were online and you neglected to patch up that hole or you didn't realize a hole was made, anyone could walk in and steal anything they wanted out of your chests, even if the leader of the kingdom is offline. So it was important to check your walls every so often. Okay, Matthias, I'm gonna get this glowstone. I don't like that there's a gas right there, but I'm gonna do this quick. Quick, quick shadow, come on. Oh, come on, no. No! Why? Why? Just, just, get, just get a couple. Get a couple, please. Before that gas kills me. Oh my gosh, I'm actually up pretty high here. No. No. No! Gassed? Stop, stop! Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to try to hit this! Oh my gosh, okay, no, no. 
No, no, I'm I'm down. Okay, I'm down. Nope. No, 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 no. Matthias, you better be doing something good with this glow dust because I'm literally going to die for it. Okay, um, I'm getting it all. I'm determined to get it all. Okay, take two. Oh, there he is. He's pretty far away, though. Quickly, just quickly, 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 quickly. Okay, this is good. I see the gas. He's over there. He's not shooting. He doesn't even notice I'm here. It's good. It's great. I want to get them all because I don't want to do this again. What is that thing? What was crawling on the ceiling? You know what? I don't even care. I'm, just, I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Give me the glow dust. I'm out of here. See you later. Uh, that was actually pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. Knock, knock. How do you get in the door? Knock, knock. <laughs> It's a poor man's locked door. Oh. Yeah, your glowstone's in the, uh, this chest here. Thank you. <laughs> and to get in, it's a bring your own button type of thing. Door. <laughs> yeah. All right, bomb is in place. It's, it's in place? <laughs> yep. I got it attached to the wall directly right next to the potions that would be of benefit to anybody invading. Speaking about invasions, the second time I died, someone from an opposing kingdom hopped over my wall, came down, and killed me. But unfortunately for them, this death did not count, and my kingdom was not claimed. And I'll tell you why. The person that killed me was an assassin and broke two rules. First and foremost, an assassin cannot go kill another king unless their king is online and is commanded to do so from their king at that moment. It's a, you gotta do it now, not when you feel like it. So in this case, for this situation, I was online by myself. So when this person signed on, I did not expect to be assassinated because an opposing king wasn't online. Not just that, a second rule was broken. They got into my kingdom by jumping over the wall, which is not allowed. You can't pearl, you can't jump, you can't break blocks, and you can't place blocks unless it's TNT and you're sieging. So for that, with those two rules broken, my kingdom wasn't claimed and the kill was ignored. Now all the rules for what we were doing was explained at the very first of the event and I personally found the rules were very clear but when you get 60 plus people in an event like this there are bound to be people that misinterpret or confuse the rules so it's gonna happen that's just the way it is all right all right moving on with Matthias setting up his trap and Iondis building our kingdom barn and stables, I got to work testing out the type of wall I could build to surround the entire kingdom with. I wanted to make sure that we as a kingdom had time to counter any siege if necessary. So I needed the walls to be relatively thick. So for the next few in real life days, I worked on getting this wall up. No, the wall wasn't hollow. I used this casting method that would create layers of stone in between the inner and outer walls five layers to be specific. I did build a single layer in the center of the walls made of obsidian that was only three to four blocks high, depending on the location of the wall. At first, I was mining obsidian, but this got old real quick. So instead, I went to the bottom of the nether with a bunch of buckets and filled those buckets with lava. Every trip, I was able to fill an ender chest in my entire inventory with lava buckets. This was the easiest way I could find to make that one layer of obsidian. Will I continue with it? Maybe. Probably not, depending on the time given. So hopefully, any opposing kingdoms don't siege right away. The kingdom was starting to come together. Walls were being put up, barns and stables were almost complete and the tower was finishing up great and then i ended up getting a letter in the mail from a neighboring kingdom dear shadow mech i write to you to formally invite you to send an ambassador to discuss terms of a potential alliance and or a trade partner we have many treasures and healthy warriors if you're interested please send a reply to this letter i hope your kingdom is as prosperous as ours love the house of the iron crocodiles you know what this actually isn't a bad thing. I kind of want an alliance. You never know if I'm going to need them or not. So um, I'm going to go write them back. Dear Forge Labs, a potential alliance is intriguing. We have a kingdom south of our borders that could be a potential threat. I can send an ambassador to discuss details on your proposal. Where would you propose for them to meet and when? We can do trading as well. Is there anything of interest? Love, the House of the Unicorn. 
I doubled down on getting the rest of the wall finished, but also sent Matthias to build up the parts of the wall that I couldn't get to in time. I needed him to make sure that no one else could easily make their way in. That night, I took a walk around myself and checked the height of every wall. Everything looked good. But either way, if someone was going to enter the kingdom, the only way they could get in is by breaching the wall. Jumping or purling over the wall was not allowed. It had to be a proper siege. All right, you know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna name my horse. I'm gonna call him Nightmare, because it's a cool name. There you go, Nightmare. You got a name now. There you go, buddy. As I was working along, minding my own business, it happened. The House of Ryan declared war on my kingdom. But why? Where was this coming from? What was the reason? Either way, I couldn't delay. There was a threat in the south, and I needed to prepare for the worst. It was time for me to start looking for help, looking to form an alliance, because who just starts a war for no reason? Well, I guess the House of Ryan does. Great. After some time passed, I received a letter in the mail. Dear Shadow, I have heard the news that King Ryan III has declared war on your kingdom. Although we are unable to aid you directly in a hand-to-hand -hand war, we can attempt to slow Ryan's advances through other tactics. Please stay safe as long as you can. Build your walls, stick, prepare your troops, and stay alive. If you can live long enough, we may be able to stop the assault. Good luck, Iron Crocodiles. Okay, I don't know what his intentions are or what his plan is, but... It's just good to know that they're on my side. It was good to know that the information about the threat of the kingdom in the south was making its way across the land. I could potentially alliance with the House of the Iron Crocodiles, but I knew of another house that could help me in this time of need. Not knowing if my kingdom was being spied on or not, I decided to flee into the darkness of night, accompanied by my horse nightmare. I just hope I'm not being followed, because they could take me out at any time. Okay, I gotta be careful. It's not smart running out at night, but that's fine. I'm assuming it's gonna take me a couple day cycles anyway, so I might as well leave at night. Oh, spiders, get. Okay, sun's coming up. That's good. I'm sure I'll get there. I just went north, right? Okay, I may or may not be lost. Uh, what am I doing here? Where am I going? Okay, I I'm positive this was the place. Maybe not. I don't know which way to go, and it's raining. Oh. This is Iron Crocodiles? But they were east on the map. Did I did I go in the complete opposite direction? It doesn't seem like anyone's here though. All right, let's keep moving, I guess. I'll find Sneeve's place somewhere. Oh, who died? Who's that? Okay, I think, I think I'm going in the right direction now. I just wish the rain would stop because I've been running at night and now in the rain. I'm dealing with mobs the whole way. I finally arrived at what felt like days of travel. I was at another kingdom, the House of Cringedom. It was time to ask for help from the King Sneeve himself. Oh, is somebody here? I think somebody's here. Hello! Oh! oh. Shadow! How you hello, doing? Hello, hello. Hey. Shadow, hello. Uh, hello, Shadow. Hey, King. Hello, I, I come in peace. <laughs> You come in we peace? Are in, I do. We are here in peace. Come in peace is... Yes. That is a lot of netherite, my man. That is a lot no. of netherite. Welcome. Yeah. Very nice tabard. Welcome busy, busy. to our kingdom. The k king of the unicorn. Oh, I forgot you could do that. I mean, it doesn't really matter because my horses decided to go to space, but <laughs> it is good. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> go, come, wow. come, in, come inside, Shadow. Get out of the rain. Yes, sir. Okay. We have food ready. Uh, one second. Yeah, Jammers has been cooking. Oh, Not well, nice. probably. Devon's really the cook. Let me get something fresh out, okay? Oh. Please have a seat. Yes, please have a seat. Head to the table. Oh, crap. This is this uh, is Sir Brockington, uh, my my master of building. It's Sir uh, Sir Sir Jam, Sir Jim Jam, McJam Jam Jalot, yeah. who is hello, my hello. Uh, hello. my master hello. of uh, medicine, my ma master of religion oh, and magic. Uh, Robin is just a peasant girl, I believe. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I know we're talking through through the mail um yes he has very big plans Email. to take over everybody well we uh we are more than happy to assist you i believe uh, okay. so long as you scratch our back in the future i will definitely 100 percent. these okay. these guys gotta go down <laughs> they gotta go because <laughs> well, i just sure, ran I, I just ran past sean's place and it's it's literally just logs so <laughs> Okay. Impenetrable. Well, oh, uh, that's a good point, actually. So we can't place blocks when attacking. Can we use flint and steel? Because uh, yeah, uh, that's true. No, it's literally oh, just yeah. logs. <laughs> I ran the completely opposite way, I guess, and I ran into Sean's area. But it's good. Hello, hello. Do you guys have another chest? We do. Uh, yes, we do. Oh wait, where's the where's the ender chest? Oh, it's down. No, yeah, it's upstairs. Chest. 
No, 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 there's, there's one down here. There's one down here. I'm gonna come with a gift for you, okay? Sneef, you can have this. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, I, I leave this gift for you, Sneef. It seems like oh, it's right God. up your alley. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's wait, we, well, my we can't even see your eyes anymore. You have a son of Morocco? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? Oh! Order! Order! <laughs> what the heck? Sneeze yes. like a lion. It's worth it. <laughs> I feel like the Game of Thrones, the Game of Thrones theme may be dissolving at, at a rapid pace, but <laughs> that's amazing. Right I on. love that so much. Order! Very well, okay. <laughs> Master of War, Kipley. Yeah, Master of War, Kipley. Take a seat. Yeah. Take a seat, right over there. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't mind me. <laughs> Next to Shadow. So, Master of War, you actually very, very much need to know this. So, oh, sorry. I need to send Sean an email. He's screaming at me right now. <laughs> oh. He's been screaming for like an hour. Yeah, <laughs> oh my gosh. What, the, what are you doing there? Okay, when you go back in, Shadow, you didn't close or lock the door. Oh, Good sorry. God. <laughs> we don't have doors in my place. <laughs> You don't oh. have doors in your kingdom? We just have Good walls. Alright. Well, listen. Listen, Shadow. Your final warning, okay? <laughs> As the guest. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, Master of War. Shadow is here as a refugee. Mm -hmm. Ryan has declared war on him. What? Last night, um, some shenanigans happened. The war against Shadow is very much a go. Uh, Ryan has declared war on Shadow and intends to overthrow his kingdom as soon as possible. He has come here uh, asking for emergency aid. Yes. Yes. What yes. say you, Master of War? I think we can give you aid or any of your people still, like, they're all alive, right? Yeah, they're all alive and uh, uh, some of them are raring to go. And they're going to build up the defenses <laughs> tonight and then tomorrow we can either siege at my place or just directly attack them. Well, I, I, say, I say we attack from the sea, honestly. From the sea? That's what that's what I, what I've been thinking for a while in terms of attacking Ryan. So if we want to attack Ryan, we should go round, not towards. Right. Yeah. No, that would be good. That'd be a good idea. As long as both sides going together, it should be should be fine. That's true. That's true. We should be clean up crew. Have to be too sneaky. <laughs> right. And but if yeah. uh, and if uh, if your king dies or falls, um, and we win, and he's with me, he he can take he can take my flag, and he can be the king. I know the girl. The girls definitely love your flag more so yeah. than Amazing. my flag. It's super flag. cute. Right. We love that one. I feel like that represents yep. us more. It's nice to see such dinosaurs. patriotism from my 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 people. Good God. <laughs> the worm. The worm. We love the worm. The worm. Yeah. I like yes. Geraldine. Yeah. I mean, Geraldine the worm. The worm. But Order. also the unicorn. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Fine. We all like. Um, yes. We all like the unicorn. Okay. Well. Yes. Uh, okay. Well, I'm happy to form a uh, very defensive alliance with you shadow and we will attack tomorrow uh, okay I've, I've received new a new email from what's his name uh short, short uh, the crocodile man uh okay so sean says dear snow of mania things have become desperate in this kingdom a dark cloud is above us all ryan plans to launch a full-blown attack on shadow please send an ambassador at once to discuss terms of a potential alliance i will send you our coordinates as soon as you reply i see uh, uh shall i tell him that you're with me shadow i think you and i perhaps Head over there. Yeah, we can. Instead of, instead of sending an ambassador, just you and I. Uh, okay. That makes sense. Is that safe? Can My we king. trust Sean? I, I don't know. I'm not sure about that. I don't think I don't think we trust anyone, honestly. Okay, well, may, may, maybe Kippers, you come with us as well then. Yeah, I, I would be fine with coming with you guys. Okay, I, I say we uh, head over. Shadow, you can leave your horse here because... Uh, uh, my horse does not exist anymore. Yay, go. let's go! Oh, let's go. Good luck, don't I? You, Thank you. You, you, lead, you lead, Shadow. We'll follow. Lead? Okay. <laughs> He's screaming about the mail. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this man does not like being left on red at all. <laughs> We're right behind you. Come on. Yeah, I just gotta make sure you're not talking about me, you know? Your real secret plan is to kill me, so you get back a little bit. Shadow's oh fashion style is so last week. <laughs> We're getting there. You guys just gotta put auto jump on and be a lot quicker. No. Oh god, auto jump. God. Ooh, there's a swamp. Oh yeah. wait, is this a swamp? Yeah, we'll have to go around it. I'm not going through it. <laughs> no, crocodiles. But I don't know how big this biome is. Uh, uh yeah, is it just I don't know. I, I assume not that way? big. Yeah, just straight through. We can get we can get on top of the trees. It's good thinking. Yeah, she's the smart one, that Kipley. That's why I have her do the thinking. And I'll do the kingliness. There you go. Oh yeah, it's, it ends pretty quickly. 
My kegs? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Thank you. that also works. <laughs> Gotta watch those ankles, you know? Whoa, gorillas. Whoa, oh, don't pick a fight with that guy. Oh my gosh. No. no. Oh, I think I found it. Yep, I see the walls. Ooh. So he's not in his old place. Oh, yeah, I see someone. Someone? Or walls? It's Kim, I think. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, wait. Hello. 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 Hello, good sir. Sir Kimberly, how are hey. we? How's it going? Good. Pretty hey. good. It's pretty good. Hey, crazies. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my man. Good day. You crazy We're not people. expecting you, Sneeve. I'm wearing the sombrero of oh. peace. Oh. Wow. All good right. Kindness. It's good to see you guys. You want to come in? Sure. Do. Yeah. Come around. Come around to the gate. It's over here on this side. Get a bear. Don't touch. Do not. No, don't. Them. Do not. Do not touch what are them. They? Oh, they're kangaroos. <laughs> yeah. Don't hit them. <laughs> do not. They will one shot you. You put armor on kangaroos? Yeah. Be very careful around them. Wait. You you can tame animals. Oh. You can don't, tame a lot of animals. Don't go near the bears either. Oh, or, or, don't go near or the, the bears. rhino. Or the rhino. This thing will. This thing right here will annihilate you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Good to know. Everyone inside. Let's go. Come on, come on here. Yeah. This is our meeting area right here. This we're still under construction. Don't mind it. Yeah. Yeah. No. I think our builder's been, been offline for the majority of it. Yes. We don't like him. Oh, we, oh, we don't have chairs for them. Oh, we don't have Kim, anything. Kim, build them some chairs. <laughs> oh my God, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. We can stand. It's all right. Kim. Oh, oh, we had, we had, I had a dining room prepared for Shadow. We gave him a meal and everything. Yeah. Oh, we oh. Did, we're 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 behind. Okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, wrong way. Get, get our guest chairs. <laughs> Come on. Oh, sorry. Excuse me, sir. Excuse oh, me. Don't go outside now, sir. Right, don't, don't go, go outside. outside. <laughs> the no, no, rhino will, the rhino will just kill you. Next to my master of war. Please be sit, 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 seated, the gentleman. The maracas are so, are so cool. Yeah, how'd you get those? Take the one to my left, Kippers. Uh, these were a gift from Shadow. A peace gift. How'd, how did you get them, Shadow? We had, I had a wandering, wandering trader and he was selling them. I mean, yes. Sean. If you what? would like the, the, the sombrero. Oh. <laughs> and I'll, sombrero. And I'll keep, I'll keep the maracas of peace. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate this. What the heck? You look so good. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay. So, we have business to discuss. Yes, we do. We do. Right now, we have a problem. Not the bear outside uh, the of the wall. The walls. problem is Ryan, but that, that problem, that, well, yeah, also the how noisy our base is. <laughs> <laughs> so right now we have a problem, and that problem is Ryan. Yes. He's advancing on Shadow. We had plans to make a play at Ryan, mm -hmm. but I'm not getting many responses from Ryan. I've been sending letters, and he has not been replying. Yeah. Our plan was to weaken him before he could get to Shadow, um, but that's proving to be difficult. <laughs> right, Robert. <laughs> I'm going, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Indubitably. Yeah, Robert's got a loose neck in. <laughs> yeah. 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 So that's what we were doing. We have visited Ryan's base. We have scoped it out. Ooh. We, we have been there. What's it look like? Um, it's deserty. It's, desert it's, it's a desert with some walls and uh, I don't know how else to It's just walls. Wheel. It's really a, yeah, just walls. Uh, yeah. I was there too, just on the outside. We've also... Um, Visited Lacundo too. We visited him today. We didn't visit him. We visited his place, and someone was there. Yeah. Who was it? HP. We we actually, we we actually slept in in his house. <laughs> get rid of the oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> wow! Really showing dominance. How is the man of the north doing? Did he go past the wall finally? Yes, yeah, they they're, are. They are south of the wall. Right where the frost begins. Basically, he's ready to get out of there. It's actually it's quite nice up there. After a long discussion, we came to a conclusion that the House of Ryan must be taken out, as we believed he was going to keep making his way up north and conquering every kingdom along the way. There was also this other kingdom in the north, the House of Lagundo. The rest of the kingdom thought them a threat because they came from beyond the wall, and that was a wild card to all of us. So that was another element we needed to be aware of. Once the discussion was over, Kipley, Sneeve, and myself made our way back to Sneeve's kingdom and updated his army on the details. Just to keep safe, I decided to stay there that night and make my way back to my kingdom in the morning because who knows who could have been waiting for me that night, just waiting for me to be alone. The next morning, I made my way back to my kingdom and continued to work on the wall. The House of Rhine was potentially coming, and I needed this done. Once most of my kingdom was around, I decided it was time to inform them on the situation. Okay guys, so just that you're aware, 
I went to uh, what what's the house called? Uh, meme 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 ton or or, or cringe cringe town? Cringe? I, I don't know. Yeah, the cringe. Yeah, cringe dumb. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so we had war announced on us uh, yesterday. Uh -huh. So oh. I quickly fled to a uh, nearby kingdom to hopefully gain an alliance because I know okay, as soon wise. as they take us over, they're gonna take them over. Which is not good. Mm -hmm. It's not what we want. Mm -hmm. Another kingdom heard word of this. Uh, they were the House of Iron Crocodiles, and they are also uh, with us on this. Oh, okay. Cool. With us, not against us. This is no, good. All right. With all us, right. yeah. Sneeb, the king of the Cringedom, is actually on his way now. Oh, cool. oh all right. Yeah. To, oh, uh, we, we have some things to discuss plan wise, uh, maybe potentially a trap, but we'll see. Ooh, good, okay. good, good. All right, I like it. I like it. All right. Well, good. We're getting some alliances. This is good. Uh, who declared war on us? Uh, House Ryan. House Ryan. Okay. okay. So yeah. Sneeve is right. heading over now. Shadow. Hey, Welcome. Party favors. Welcome to hello, my kingdom. Hello. Oh, little red. Hello. 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 Are you the kingly bodyguard? Are you? Uh, I am the kingly builder, Ooh. and yes. uh, as a, a token of our appreciation of our alliance, I offer Sir Sneeve thy boots with thy Booties? fern, dear sir. First with the fur. Wow. Very that's, good. This is the worst gift I've ever received. All right. <laughs> um, Welcome to our area. Shadow. Yes. You wanted to talk. Yes. Uh, Sean sent me an email stating yes. that we needed to discuss something. What did he? Did he say anything or? Something about luring someone into something. A trap. Oh, yes. Sort. Indeed. Um, if you happen to have some kind of throne room, do you? No. Um, I don't have a throne room. We're all equals here. I don't. Uh... <laughs> Discriminate. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, 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 don't, you don't want to do that. that we tried that. Coolest. We tried that, but then Grady was all over the wall. Uh, okay. Grady, how dare you be a gentleman? Party favorite. <laughs> the castle looks cool. You could go right. there and discuss. And you, I see. I see. You have some very nice animals in your kingdom too. We got all types of animals over here. Yeah. Like elephants, kangaroos, even tigers on the other side of the mountain. Yeah. Tigers. No, I killed most of them. Don't worry about the, them. The only animal we have is my king. What a beast. <laughs> whoa, 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 settle down, settle down. He's an absolute <laughs> animal. I got an email from Ryan asking me to not take part in the war. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, that's not good. Oh, you can you can see our kingdom from there. What the heck? Can you? Wait, oh, really? wait, no, sorry. Can we? No, no, no. I was about yeah, to no, say, I don't think I saw anyone when I mapped that out. That is a really nice map. Well done. Funny well, surely get some stays. of your peasants to make us up a couple of chairs at least. Oh, and we're my gonna stand gosh. Up. I can go grab some. Best for the best. My like, king let's do has nice, a noble fancy throne. Fancy over here. Don't mind me. Where is thine? I can't sit on this. Don't I have a couple of chairs that. that I can bring. All right, Matthias, this is is my boy. I'm no so coffee, sorry, no nothing. I'm I, so sorry. I haven't been offered a single wafer biscuit since I've been here. Uh, King, King Sneeb, I, I, I don't, I don't know if you want, if you know, but we are under siege or war. Chairs are our last. <laughs> Chairs are our last concern right now. Okay, yeah, so, okay, Shadow, yes, we know you're under attack. Um, the, the, the Sneeve Kingdom would like to defend you. We, 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 we certainly don't want Ryan to get the upper, upper hand. You see, mm -hmm. although you'll, you'll happen to notice something particularly interesting, Kipley, Grady, and I are currently locked in, Sne in Sean's basement. Currently. You're... What? Yes. Yes, we, we are currently locked in Sean's basement. Sean wants you, us, uh, and Lagundo to be in his, in his cells, in his dungeon. Ooh, thank you. Perfect. He, he wants us to be in his cells, in his dungeon, and to lure Ryan down. At which point, we will spring from the dungeon. Okay. So, that is going to have to play out as, I'm assuming Sean is claiming that they're going to do an alliance together? With Ryan? Sean, Sean, Sean has said to Lagundo, you see, so L Lagundo is supposedly allied with Ryan. Okay. Um, so, not really I know, I'm not sure exactly what's true, because of course, never trust Sean. No. But, yes, yeah, so that's where, that's where we're at. It, it, it's, it's, it's a matter of, do we trust Sean in that Lagundo and Ryan are together? I think there is actually a considerable amount of evidence to say that that is the case. Mm -hmm. um, when, we, when we were there, Lagundo didn't want to be put in the basement with us, because uh, the initial plan was to put us all in the, in the, in the cells and then pu pull you in, uh, but I think he sent the email to the wrong person. Um, <laughs> good work, Matthias. Very well done. So, oh, that's just wonderful. backwards. So, oh God, honest. man. What kind they of, need of kingdom, upside down, backward, back to front kingdom is this? So the question is, uh, is Tyus is doing his best? Is Ryan and Snee, or is Ryan and Snee, is Ryan going to Sean's first before they come here? I 
don't know because of the timing. The timing is a little awkward right now. We're, mm -hmm. we, we, initially, the plan was for us to actually stay in the dungeon, but uh, Ryan, we're both not online. It's like, we can't just wait there forever. So I'm not entirely sure what the plan is now, but that was the initial plan. Ooh. Okay. Please take a seat, Shadow. I feel awkward. Okay. There we go. So yes, that, that, that is the information that uh, I have been given. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to play out. Uh, have you checked your email recently, Shadow? Should we perhaps head to Sean's instead of heading back to my base? Yeah, probably we should head to Sean's. I don't think we, you, you'll have room to bring everyone, though. I can, I can take, what, two on my ship? At least, uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. I think so. I think so. I think two, maybe three. But we might have enough room for everyone. All right, I think we're ready to go. To the ship's yeah, men. Go. I thought it would be a good idea to inform the House of the Iron Crocodiles that I was on my way with Sneeve. So we knew it was true and not a possible trick. Once I sent that out, we were on our way. On boat. To the House of the Iron Crocodiles. Or at least we thought we were. Wait, everyone be careful. If you see a whale, tell me. <laughs> I'll make because sure uh, whales can uh, right yeet you into the air quite high. If, if honestly, I was thinking it would be hilarious if all of us died. <laughs> oh God, do not! I'm jinx glad us I'm in the dinghy then. Oh God, no, 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 no! To the left, left, left! left. <laughs> Shut! <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're at Ryan's kingdom, everyone. Say hi. <laughs> My king oh, sounds like a a seasoned veteran. <laughs> oh, I'm seasoned. Seasoned. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. oh dear. Oh dear, no, sails down. Hang on, I keep have, forgetting uh, which it is. The shore. The cold, the... <laughs> Shut up. I have sailed for many years, yes. On uh, Sail Simulator 4000. <laughs> sail you mean the buggy mess that always crashes every time you try to launch it? Yes, yes. that's the one. <laughs> ah, no wonder. <laughs> we'll go to whale. Uh, there's well, a whale. Well, okay. Well. All right. Um, it's okay. If they have oh, God, hands, a white whale. Can that, that are angry? It's beached. Wait, 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 wait. Him, lower the blowout. sail, lower the sail. What the hell is this? Where are we? Oh god, whale, no whale. 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 Oh god, no, I'm pushing the whale. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay, we're not <laughs> aggroing him. It's good. It's good. Oh, there's a white whale. I, I oh god, we're gonna we're gonna no, run no, over no, the white whale. No, I can't no, turn no, fast no, enough. No, no, no. Uh -oh. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. We're veering. Oh god. Mm, my king. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we are all tired of feeling lost and potentially risking our deaths by continually running into these whales. So we decided as a group to go on foot and make our way over to Sean's area by foot. Oh, Kipley's AFK. Sorry. Kipley, come on. We're abandoning ship. Uh, it, was bad, it, it was bad call. My bad. Uh, we've gotten stuck now. Grady, don't attack the ship. I don't know. Sorry, the ship, I was angry at it, my king. It betrayed you. <laughs> We're sure we're going the right way this time? Yeah, I'm going up. Oh, careful. Rattlesnake. Rattlesnake. Will Woo! they kill you? Crocodiles. Crocodiles. Sure? Crocodiles. Oh sure my god. this was a, a good idea? No. Oh. Lead, the way, lead the way, Shadow. I think. Yeah. I Ready? Why? Zero. This is... <laughs> is it going up? Oh, it is going up. Oh, this no way. Yeah, no, 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 between this me way. and my king. You got this. We got this. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, like yeah, that, that was a test. Frog. Congratulations, <laughs> Kipley. Night that was a test. Can you tell that we are born to be leaders? Um, oh God, be careful snakes. of the rattlesnakes, lads. Shut up! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. A snake won't stop me. And unfortunately, a rattlesnake did stop me. Well, sir. Nah, I'm just kidding. That wouldn't happen to me. Well, maybe it possibly, probably, maybe. Uh, anyway, moving on. Doesn't matter. Yeah, are we supposed to be heading north? Yeah, we are heading north. For the Please, There's everyone. a red... There's a Stop crow here. Stop breaking trees and jump in the water with the boats that I have already created. Wait, where are you? Kibbers? Yeah, oh, down there. Watch out, Be Shadow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting in the way. Follow, follow Shadow. He's got the coordinates up. I don't got coordinates up. I'm, I'm just winging it. You know? Oh, good. Okay, well, you can't do a worse job than I did. Nope. Look at that. Great sense of direction. I'm going in the right way. So we'll get out, break the boats, and uh, continue where on. Where are we going? Yeah. Oh, and probably crocodile. Oh my gosh, yep, there's a lot. This Careful. is so dangerous right now. <laughs> yes, this is true. But this is what we signed up for. Yep. Um, there's another pink sheep. And as the sun comes up, it's oh. not okay. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, where is it, Grady? Have you seen the pink sheep? I have not seen such things. <laughs> Never mind, it was my imagination. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Okay, wait, there we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here, we're here. Oh, we are here. Well done. Oh, I fell in the water. I'm moisturized. That was my monthly bath. 
Oh my god. I want to be the first one. We're here. Hello. Oh. Okay. Hello. 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 Come on we in. Thought, we thought it a good idea yes. to uh, arrive simultaneously. Oh, I like the doors. I agree. I agree. Ah! Um, how does this... Help! <laughs> hello, hello, Shadow. Hello. We got him. We got him. We got him, guys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go on out. That was good. You had me scared there for yeah. a second. Everyone oh, wow. turned on you for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That <laughs> oh. I just cry at night. Damn it! I should have done that. Oh, oh. That okay, my idea. kangaroos are down here, so uh, don't hit me. Oh yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, unless is... you want to die very quickly. They're decked out. <laughs> Yeah, they got better armor yeah. than you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about those guys. Okay, so <laughs> this is uh, good news. Looks like we got everyone here. Yeah. I'm going to go send the letter to Ryan and say that we bagged them. <laughs> are, you all, are you all in speed potions right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just running. <laughs> um, and so you guys will have to take your armor off, make sure you give them keys, put them in cells. I don't know if they're going to believe that we got all of you. We brought but... those potions as well. Oh, yeah, you're so oh smart. Perfect. God. That was the plan. We were to trick Ryan into thinking that the House of Iron Crocodiles caught me. Which, I mean, they would have. Because I definitely fell for it. Quite literally. Anyway, Sean promised Ryan that he would capture me and allow Ryan to take over my kingdom without the need of sieging. But what Ryan didn't know, that this was all a ruse to have him come back here to where we would all equip back on our armor, use our keys, and break out to defeat him and his army in one go. Unfortunately, we waited and we waited. While Sean and Ryan were sending letters to one another, for some reason Ryan didn't believe Sean anymore. Almost as if he knew this was a trap. Either way, after a while we devised another plan about possibly raiding Ryan instead. He didn't want to come to us, so we were going to have to go to him and catch him off guard, you know? The only the only thing with the raid is that like this whole thing could snowball. So let's say he does land a kill on me or Sneeve. Now Ryan's army is even stronger. You think Ryan would just, be able to land a kill on It doesn't of us? have to be Ryan. It doesn't have to be Ryan. It can be anyone in his army. Ryan if has you... three people. We have how many people here? Nine? We have, yeah. Oh! I thought, okay, I thought the guy had like, let's go get in that friggin' boat and let's just sail up to yeah, him. He, he only has like three people. <laughs> Most of his Oh my god, let's go. What are we waiting for? There's not even point talking. Oh, here we go. This is the night. <laughs> I can't get it. Oh! Oh my god, we're all okay, on the let's, boat! Let's go! <laughs> Alright. Wait, is Robert, Robert. Okay, Robert, Robert. Okay, Robert? Yep, Robert. I'm driving the boat. Are your, are your kangaroos gonna be okay? I don't know. Anyone have any sea shanties they wanna sing? Grady, start us off! Take it away! Oh, yes, I know a couple uh, off the top of my head. <laughs> um, I'll start with my favorite one. I hear. Give me a second. Uh, cause all the king. Oh, wait, hold on, how's it go? <laughs> <laughs> He brought the guitar out. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, Cause all the kings that aren't my king are lame. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, enough. <laughs> Just not, tr trust me, trust me. Uh, now listen. Oh, beautiful. We might not all make it out of this alive. Chances are someone on this boat, maybe multiple people are gonna die. <laughs> Alright, so remember, we want to kill Ryan. The other's not so important. Don't don't get yourself bogged down fighting someone you don't need to fight. Okay, so everyone just go after Ryan then. We thought it was going to be an easy battle, but as we were coming up on the shores of Ryan's kingdom, we seen a boat, and that boat belonged to Lagundo. Lagundo was here, where I have no idea. This fight might be harder than I expected, because if Lagundo is really with Ryan, it's going to be quite the battle. With that on our minds, we all got out of the boat and started to look for Ryan's kingdom until Sean finally seen a torch in the distance. And then we seen another torch and then a bunch of them. We were on the right track and then there they were. Ryan's kingdom was right there and they were waiting for us. Get away from that wall. I'm gonna blow it up. I'm gonna blow it up. Oh, that's Shadow. Hey, Shadow. Oh, How you doing, bud? Good. I should have blew that hole in that wall when I had the chance. Because what happens next? None of us seen it coming. Not one of us. Oh! Yep. Oh my god. They might have thought this was over, but not quite. Let's go! Oh my god. They brought I'm out of pals. You killed them. What just happened? Oh my gosh, I'm sweating. Sean's down, Matthias is down. 
This isn't good. What am I gonna do? I gotta, I gotta go back and help. I gotta go back. I'm gonna try to do a flank. Oh no, sneeze down too. Oh my gosh. This is, this is not good for me at all. Oh my gosh, what am I gonna do? Shin's back there. Oh my gosh, Shin died. Okay, okay, Shadow, think. Think. Maybe I can go and kill Ryan. Sneak up on him or something, maybe. I don't know. I think I I think I missed the opportunity. It's, it's been way too long. Do you know what? I gotta try it. I, I gotta try I did not expect that. Of course, but Laguna. I should have known. Ah. He's good, man. He's good. I respect it. Okay, so there's a couple down there. This might be my chance. Maybe? I, I don't know. I shouldn't be doing this. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Let's blow this up. Maybe I can distract them. I can circle around. Okay, I'm gonna pearl up here. See if they come to the wall. See if Ryan's alone. I jump him. I guess. I don't know. I think my opportunity's gone. I really do. What am I gonna do now? What am I gonna do now? How? How did they know we were coming? It was a perfectly placed trap and we all fell for it. Most of us did survive the trap aside from a few. Sean, king of the house of the iron crocodiles and my master brewer, Matthias. Unfortunately, Sneeb also perished along with my master miner, Shin. I was the only king to survive. Two kingdoms taken down in one swift trap. But I went back to Ryan's kingdom to try and possibly sneak in and assassinate him right then and there because I thought maybe I would have an opportunity to do so with all the chaos going on. But after I blew a hole in the wall, I noticed that there were a bunch of people standing around in a circle. This was not my opportunity, not right now. So I headed back to my kingdom, wondering what was gonna happen in the next couple days. So what now? How am I supposed to survive this? With the help of Lagundo's army, Ryan was able to defeat the other kings. Ryan took over the house of the Iron Crocodiles and Lagundo took over the house of Cringedom. I was now one of three remaining kingdoms and I was pinned between two large armies. Not to mention that the war between Ryan and myself was not resolved, so things could still get messy. I needed to come up with a plan and I needed to come up with one quickly. While I was talking to my team, I really didn't feel like it was fair to drag them into this fight. Plus, I could have the advantage of using the shadows going solo, but this would take a considerable amount of time and planning. So I headed over to Ryan's kingdom to scope out the place. Yeah, he's gotta have a weak spot. Last time I was here, oh my gosh, look at them. They died in the pit. It's not a huge base. I mean, it's still pretty big. But last time I was here, I blew a hole in the side of this wall. But I'm sure they would have patched it up anyway. Ooh. Did they not... Did they not fix it? No way. They just... This was like a day ago. They haven't fixed this yet. I could go in here right now and just rob them blind. I can't, like, blow anything else up or, like, you know, wreck any of the, any of the structures, but I can steal. I don't know. I don't, I want to give him a chance to, you know, actually fix it. Yeah. I got to give him a chance to actually fix it because during the battle, I made this hole. So technically I was sieging during war. So it's, it's, it's good, but I don't want to enter right now because I don't think it's fair. I want to give him a chance. Okay. So here's the rundown. This is what's going to happen, or at least my plan on what's going to happen. I plan on making my stand here. I'm going to take over Ryan's kingdom by myself. It's really the only way I'm going to get it done. And my chances of taking him over is pretty slim. But if I can't claim his kingdom, I need a backup plan. I need to slow Ryan's kingdom down. Because for one, we are still at war and his army has grown. And two, I'm pinned between two large armies. So any sabotage I can create for them, the better. The only way I think I can achieve this is to battle with Ryan one-on-one, -on -one, which I have no idea when that opportunity will arise. If anyone in his kingdom is around, I will try to lure them out and lead them away from the kingdom or chase them out entirely. Because remember, 
I don't want to kill anyone. I'm trying to grow my army. If that hole in the wall is not fixed and I got the kingdom clear, I'm going to make it apparent that I'm stealing from their kingdom to hopefully draw Ryan out. And if my plan works perfectly, Ryan's army will not be close enough to get to him in time, allowing for that one-on-one -on -one battle. There's a lot of moving parts, I know. So many things could go wrong. I got one shot at this. That's it. The next day, I made my way back to Ryan's kingdom, and it was obvious that him or his army was around at some point, as there was a bridge now built over the trap. But they made one grave mistake. The hole in the wall was never patched up. This was good. This was great. But just in case the opportunity of assassinating Ryan doesn't arise, I need to sabotage his army. Like I said before, I am pinned between two large armies. If I can slow them down or even weaken them, it overall helps me. Okay, so it's the next day, and it looks like that hole hasn't been patched. I don't see anybody from Ryan's army around, and there's a new bridge. So, there's that. If it's one person, I think I can drive them away. If it's two, maybe not. I might have to fight them. But, for right now, I'm, I just gotta wait. <laughs> think? Yeah, he sees me. Hello! I don't think he can hear me. Oh, where's he going? Where are you going? Oh my gosh, he went inside. I'm the king! Come get me! If you kill me, Ryan can take me over. Okay, I'm just gonna poke. I can't kill him. As soon as he attacks me, then it's all fair game. Where'd he go? Oh, he's up there. Hello? Still don't think he can hear me. Oh, he's probably like, what is he doing in here? How'd he get in here? I don't know, you guys left a hole in the side of your wall for two days. Where are you going? State your business, sir. No, I just noticed you had a huge hole in your wall. Funny how that got there. Yeah, I wonder how it got there. I wonder. And considering we're still under war, I could make my way in pretty easily, take what I want. You could. I did have some alternatives I could, uh, propose that uh, I, was, I was thinking of just yesterday what would those be sir well you are at a bit of a disadvantage you know oh. two parties oh there it is there it is two parties against you perhaps uh an alliance with one of them could help an alliance you say don't you think perhaps maybe Okay, he's full-blown attacking me now, which gives me every reason to go after him. Okay, I'm gonna loop around, go back into the hole. I don't know where he's at. Oh, no, Enderman! Not the time! Not the time! I'll take your pearl, though. Thanks. Is he still shooting at me? Where is he? Oh, wait, is that him up there? Oh, yeah, it's him. He's right up there. Okay. So he's on the wall. He's staying on the wall. Oh, is he coming down? Okay, I'm just gonna get on the wall. Yeah, he's shooting. Beeline! I got a beeline! Beeline it! Beeline it! Alright, this has got to be up, right? Now I don't want to kill him. Hold on, where is he at? Okay. So I... Excuse me! Okay, so I don't want to kill him. I want to drop him away. Which it seems like we're just going around in circles. Well, that lava didn't work. Because I still want team members when I take Ryan down. So if I can get him to leave, or run, or hide, then Ryan will be alone if he comes online and he's not here. Where are you going? Stop running! I just want to talk! You keep shooting arrows at me. Ooh, TNT! Where are you going? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? He might have went... Uh, you know what? He might have went down. I don't see anything. I don't see him. Did he jump off? Hello? Are you there? I just want to talk. That's all I want to do. Oh, I guess he's gone. Where did he go? He could have pearled away too. I don't see him. Huh. Okay. Plan worked. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to drop him away. Now, who just leaves TNT sitting around? It's, it's dangerous. I gotta take care of it, okay? It's a safety hazard. There. Good. All better. After Ryan's army member was long gone, I made my way back into the kingdom to sabotage their storage. Hopefully, this will draw Ryan out. I'm not gonna lie, I thought with Ryan's army member online, he would have warned the rest of everybody of my presence and what I was doing, but there was nothing. 
No one came after me. No one tried to stop me. So this sabotage was really easy. So I thought, just in case I can't overthrow Ryan's kingdom, maybe I can have the two large kingdoms fight against each other instead. So I may have tampered with the mail, making it seem like the other kingdom was demanding or working against Ryan now, and that I was sent over to do the bidding for the kingdom in the north, with the promise of an alliance. Will it work? I don't know. Probably not. But it was an insurance plan. Okay. I don't know. I don't think Ryan read this yet. Let's see what it says here. So basically, Rookie Cookies sent a message about trading things. Okay, I can use this to my advantage. Let's let's see this. Let's change this. <laughs> okay, let's make this a little bit more hostile, okay? I see great urgency to let you know that my king in the north is planning on betraying our alliance. He seeks to flatten your kingdom in the next few days to come. I would prepare yourself. Many regards, Rookie Cookies. Okay. Let's hopefully uh, he uh, falls for that. Probably not, but let's just see. Now I gotta send him a letter from me, but I'm gonna do that back at my kingdom. I, I don't know how the mail works. I don't know if he can see where it came from. I, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna be safe and do it this way. Dear House of Ryan, I hope you understand my motives for robbing your kingdom dry. King Lagundo has offered me an alliance, and considering I am without an army and a lone wolf in this Game of Thrones, and the fact that we are at war, it was an offer I had to take, and it was the only way I could seal the deal with them. I was sent over to retrieve a few key items, but was told to destroy the rest. My apologies. He may send me out to do more, but that for now, I am unsure of. Love the House of the Unicorn. Taking a chance. Might be a swing and a miss, but gotta try. I gotta try. Okay, I gotta get back to Ryan's kingdom because if I'm not there and he's alone, I won't be able to kill him. So at this point, it's just a, basically a stakeout. This was it. This was my chance. I know I only had a few minutes to do this. Ryan is going down. His kingdom has been a threat to me from the start, but now here's my chance to make his kingdom mine and get back at him. Hey, Shadow. Well, there we go. There we go. <laughs> I did I did take your stuff for the content, but anything that you need to re get yeah. replaced, I'll replace it. Yeah, I saw. <laughs> I was uh, looking in there for some sandstone to like fix the wall up. But... Yeah. Because I was like, because I, I, I said it last night that there was a hole. I was like, hey, I'm not going to do anything tonight because yeah. I, I don't think that's right. So then I waited until I came yeah. on the day. I was like, hey, the so hole's still here. I got to take advantage of it. But anything you need, Ryan, to finish like building and stuff, just let me know. Oh, uh, no, we, we were pretty much planning on uh, moving over to Sean's place. Oh, okay. So, okay. Right yeah. On. Yeah. No, you're, you're welcome to stay here to do your build, man. It's do whatever you need to do. Nah, it's all good. Oh, yeah, Ryan, the hole's over here. It's, it's small, but it's here. And with that, the House of Ryan was mine, as well as the House of the Iron Crocodiles. As of right now, I just ordered the houses to maintain their locations and to build up their defenses, as the fight for the throne was on the horizon between the kingdom in the north and the new kingdom in the south, which was the House of the Unicorns, in all kingdoms that bent the knee. Shadow? Yes. Shadow. Was that real? That, that was. just happened? That just happened. Wait. What does this mean? So that means that we control Ryan's kingdom, we should control Sean's kingdom. Uh, uh, um, okay, well, we do have their banners already, so that's good. <laughs> yep. And then Probably as soon as I see Ryan, I was like, okay, this is it. I gotta get in there. And then the, the oh, hole's still yeah. breached. They didn't fix that. They didn't fix the hole. Why didn't Protag come back to fix that after uh, you were in there? I don't know. With Ryan's kingdom overthrown, I was finally able to get some peace and quiet. For now, at least. Because I guess I have to battle for the Iron Throne in a couple days. Why do I have to fight people? Why can't I just build my kingdom? You know, spread the love, the joy, all that jazz. But either way, I had to devise a plan because the final battle was approaching. The sad thing is my kingdom was going up against some highly skilled warriors from both the House of Lagundo and Sneeve's kingdom. So I needed to try to balance that fight. And I really only had one option. And that option was to go and recruit the local wildlife. And when I say recruit, I mean tame. So I spent a considerable amount of time recruiting gorillas, kangaroos, bears, and even elephants. 
Hopefully, this can give me enough of an edge to claim the Iron Throne, so I can at least get some peace and quiet around here. Jeez! Today was the day. The final battle. The fight for the Iron Throne. It was time to march our armies to the battlefield. The trip would have been fairly brief, but for some reason, I felt like riding an elephant into battle. And they're slow. Although I don't know why, because he didn't really help. Yeah, anyway, that's that's a whole nother problem. But the fight started almost immediately because both armies kind of ended up in the same spot. So my army took off and headed inside to meet up with Sean and Kim, who were already in the castle. We going guys, in? Uh, come over to me, we can splash. I can splash potion. Yeah, yeah let's splash first. Everyone come over, splash potion. Oh no, they're shooting at the top, at the top, arrow down. At the top? Someone shot down from above. There's the throne. Just fight in the throne room? Might as well, if they're gonna do it like this. I know. Where's Shadow? Yeah. Here. It's, where's, I want to hear him speak. Why? Because you guys are tricking us. How would we... What? <laughs> How, what? <laughs> How would this be a trick at this point? <laughs> None of us died. So, oh, uh, no, no, it's just me. It's just me. Okay. I went around the perimeter. There's no one out there. Well, like, they're at the outpost. Why are they at the outpost? Like, I'm not going there because I ain't 1v4. They're over there, but, like, don't attack them because otherwise you're going to lose your, like, kangaroos. I lost my do my 100 dog army. You it's lost? From their bows. Yeah. Oh, geez. They just, they murder my, like, with with their bows. They're just going to bow spam and all your kangaroos are going to die. So our best chance is to lure them into the castle and then we all charge with our mob might. Okay. Before they have a chance to bow them. Okay. Yeah, let's just go. They're shooting already. Kim, is that you? Oh, it's Shadow. Sorry. You're on my team. <laughs> I tried to murder our king. <laughs> all right, let's go. Let's go. Okay, they're all at their outpost, so they're just chilling. I nearly killed our king. <laughs> it's okay. That's not good. Like Someone's on the beach. Who's got someone on the beach? Like, Where's the beach? Shoot who's on the beach. Is it one of you guys? Shouldn't be us. I don't okay. Be us. We've got castle. everyone. It must be them. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of the Lagundos people. They're firing. They're firing. All right, let's go. Just watch out. They've got cross Careful. They're going to... He's just trying to bait us over there. Because they're all they're all to the left. Yeah, yeah, I see them. One guy's hiding behind a tree. Yeah, he's just trying to bait us out. Shadow, I'm sorry for shooting you, my king. It's it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> you all right? No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Be warned, my king. Sneeve is in this castle as we speak. Invisible. Sneaking yeah. around. Oh. But naked, at least. But naked. A naked <laughs> Sneeve. Sneeve, reveal yourself now. <laughs> and we'll yes. let you join us. Join us, Sneeve. Get, get back at your adversary that you? got you in the trap. This is your chance for redemption. The ghost of they're at, they're entering through the south side. I see one person sneaking in through the south okay, side. Let's let's shift, shift, oh shift. Let's let's wait for them here and then, then let's like surprise them. They're okay, charging. Yes. Look 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 down look down. Yes. Where what, what direction, Kim? What direction? Don't give Kim, it, where? Don't give it away. Uh, where I'm shooting. Don't give it away. Yes, okay. Don't give it away. Yeah. They're assaulting. They're assaulting the castle. Laguna's army has arrived. Let's go down. Let's okay. get them. Make them bleed. Yeah, oh, the kangaroos are pushing me off the edge! Come on, back up! Oh, They're gonna. Okay, okay, I'm gonna back. die because these kangaroos! Back. I'm back, I'm back. Get back off the edge. <laughs> Stay in the middle, otherwise, we're gonna push people. <laughs> They're inside. They're inside. They have to go through that door. They're entering the castle! We hold the top. This is how it ends. This is how it this, these kangaroos Should are gonna say, kill me, Kim, how, please. This is how it I hate so long. They've entered the castle. Let's bring them the fight. Send the kangaroos down there. Let's if go. They can't do it. Send easily. them. I'm going down, and I'm gonna slaughter Laguna myself. Oh. I'm coming. I mean, wait for me. Let's go, Sean. Got this. Yeah, let's go. Up to, wait, wait, wait. All right, wait, I guess we're charging down. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, I guess no. we're charging. I, everyone, who got everyone, warm on, warm on us. Warm on us. Someone forgot the kangaroos. Yeah, it's, it's okay. That's where we actually need to be. This is the. Yes, Laguna. Walk into the. Walk into the throne room, Lagundo. Yes. It's waiting for you. Let's look at oh, yep. Theodore's Goodbye, oh, Theodore. My goodness. Doesn't this throne sound from isn't this throne amazing? I love being on this. Bugaboo! <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready to have a good time? Because I sure am. Shut up! There's shadow! There's shadow! Oh my gosh, this is chaos. Right here. Get him, Shadow! 
Let's go! Oh my Don't god! Hey, hey come it. back! Come back! Shadow, you okay over here? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Get in here, you cowards! There's dead people everywhere. What is a what's the game plan, Shadow? Someone's hitting me in the th throne room. Okay, to the throne room. There's I'm a hole here. in the wall. Do just right like outside. I see them. The They're all out there. Yeah. I think they're trying to. Uh, uh, yeah, still open battle. Room down. I, I can let's, let's room. hold the line here. Yeah. It's muted. It sounded louder. Oh my goodness! There's death here. Watch out! They're blowing a hole. Shadow's on his own over here. Shadow's on his own right here. Sneeve's in the throne room. 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 Sneeve's <laughs> you killed your own men! Look, I didn't say I was a very smart fella, okay? And it was hard to distinguish between friend and foe. So I might have whacked a few of my army members, and, and they might have died. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Come right. on, Shadow's coming down! Where, 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 where? He's right here. He's right here. Back up, back up, back up, just in case this big he's, 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 he's got a bow loaded. He's got a bow loaded right here on the right. Okay, so Sean's up. Yeah, Shadow I'm good. Down. They were making their advances, and I knew my army was dwindling. I had to switch my strategy. I had to go on the offense, but I knew I wouldn't be able to take them all on alone. So I purled away out of the castle in the hopes to be able to flank them from behind while the rest of my army was keeping them busy. Shadow's outside on the left here. On me. Storeroom on your right. Yep, TT right here. How long the time? I found Shadow! I found Shadow! He's right here! He's right here! He's pulling again! He's pulling again! Shadow's in here! He fell. He fell inside the basalt. <laughs> Kill the king! Kill the king! The rest of my team members died. That was it. It was just me. Nobody else. So I decided to try to use the shadows to my advantage and try to sneak in for the kill. But the problem was, he wasn't alone. So I made myself present out in the field to try to draw some of them out, to get them to come after me, which worked. I had a few of them chasing me on the mountains and I had a couple others over on the east side of the castle. The only problem was I couldn't get close enough for the kill as there was always somebody there. And at one point out of the frantic of trying to get away from an attacker, I ended up getting lost. I just kept purling and I just kept running. Maybe this was a good thing. Time was running out and I had to make a decision. Do I try to go and claim the Iron Throne? Because the odds for that are pretty slim at this point and it doesn't make sense for me just to throw my life away. My people need me. Wait, no, wait, they're all dead. Doesn't matter, I can find new people. And as I was sitting there deciding on if I should go claim the throne or walk off into the sunset, I noticed a family of pandas. They could be my people, but the pureness and innocence of these pandas reminded me what my house was about. So instead, I went to the pandas and I bent the knee to them. 
I was one with the pandas now. Now the stress of war and the battle for the Iron Throne was now just a distant thought. So what's this all mean? Well, and that was it. Lagundo officially claimed the Iron Throne. He was now king of the entire kingdom. And I'm not gonna lie, I think he deserved it because his journey alone was impressive enough. This man started in a harsh environment and overcame the odds. So no one else deserves it more than him. Congratulations, Lagundo. Congratulations. As for me, I'm gonna go find a nice part of the world that's far away from this place and start another house maybe the house of pandas i don't know <laughs> and with that shadow mech out